Hi, welcome back to I've Had Worse, and we're continuing our John Smith's Tetley's Head to Head. This is their Smooth Flow. Um, mm, staple of supermarket shelf, staple of many a pub and bar. And it's kind of really interesting. This, uh, John Smith's produced the highest selling uh, beers in the UK um, since the mid 90s. Tetley's a second. And the majority of sales are for the Smooth Flow. So I'm really interested to see if there's much difference. I did their originals, uh, and I'll put a link to that one, and I could have almost been drinking out the same glass. Um, so really interested to see what we're getting here. Those weren't big flavors. I'm not expecting anything big on these. These are both 3.6s. These are um, 440 mil cans, looking slightly taller. That's because they have the, the widget thing to make them you know, uh, go off. Um, mm. I said this is also a battle of breweries. We've got Heineken versus Carlsberg. Did I get it right? Did I get yeah. it that way around? That's right. that yes. Yeah. <sighs> you fluffing my lines, getting my facts befuddled. Okay. And so, why are you doing it blind? Oh, and why am I doing it blind? Because any of you, if you've seen any of my other videos, will know I pour atrociously. This has a widget involved, which produces sort of, you know, a big head. And I don't think there's a glass big enough in the world for me to get it right. So I'm rather pleased that Madam Director will take these away, pour them into a glass. I'm not going to know which is which, and I'll tell you which I think is the better. So there we go. So the pair of these bad boys are sort of nitrogenated, say nitrogen infused, um, with a widget that sort of produces um, sort of small tight bubbles, smaller than carbon dioxide does, um, and gives this sort of like a creamy head. Um, mm. <laughs> okay, Whoa. looking forward to this one. Okay, so again, as with the original or a traditional, we've got a very similar looking appearance, sort of light chestnut, again, as you'd expect with a smooth flow or cream flow, is that also, yeah, smooth flow, cream flow, yeah. you've got that ultra tight, it does look like cream. Give me a spoon, some strawberries. Okay. In fact, wasn't that a Bonington's? Didn't they do a smooth flow when I mean, they were dipping strawberries into it with... Uh, Melanie Sykes. Melanie yeah. Sykes. Easy on the eye. <laughs> Did I say that then? Okay, let's get on with this one. Okay, left hand first. You didn't sniff it. I didn't. It's Dave straight in the You couldn't wait to get no. it. No. Nothing on the head. A little bit coppery. I wonder if the bubbles hold in yeah. the aroma. A little bit of, again, they, they, I, this could be the same. You could have given me two the same. They smell the same. So there's a little bit of copper on there. Okay. So then that mouthful was creamy smooth. There's hardly any carbonation underneath there. It's a very flat, um, almost traditional, you know, flat ale, that type of, of mouthfeel. That head, look at that, it's sticking to the glass. Okay, let's go for right hand. Again, no carbonation in the mouth. Quite a metallic y flavour. Okay, yeah, so this one's got coppery, metallic. Little bit of bitterness there. You need no. to do a. That's it. <laughs> There's not a lot going on with these. Again, they could be the same bloody glass. So they're not big flavours. Subtle bitterness. A little bit more of the bitterness than the original. And I've done the video literally just before this, but sort of five minutes before this. So that memory's there of that one, that, what that one tastes like. <laughs> God, cue cards is what I need. It 
it's the same glass. Slightly creamier looking head than this one. Oh man alive, this is so difficult. Okay, which one do I prefer? Right hand. Uh, I mean, again, there is absolutely nothing to write home. It's a subtle bitterness and then a wetness of the liquid. The <laughs> mouth, but yeah, there's nothing. Considering um, last night I had a... Um, St. Peter's. St. Peter's. The, Plum Porter. Yes, absolutely fantastic. Uh, and the other one I think I had was the Ghost Ship. Lovely citrus IPAs. I mean, I know they're different styles of beer. Um, but bags of flavour, absolutely bags of flavour. Um, and I know that a traditional bitter, but these have got virtually nothing. I, it's like, why are they so popular? I can't figure it out. Is it because it's uh, tradition uh, and people, these, in a time of, of, of lots of different beers, these, the quality, the stood out and you knew what you were getting. And even though it wasn't bags full of flavour, you knew you were having something that was drinkable, whereas a local brewery, you know, guest ale might be a bit ropey, um, and that that's why everybody went for these. Oh, pardon me. Um, don't, uh, yeah, it's a mystery. Um, it's just one more check, see if I've got that right. Very, very subtle bit to this. Not offensive, but there's just nothing there, really. Yep, I'm still going for it. Right hand gets it. Let's have the reveal. Which one's which? Oh, well, you want me to make the decision? Yeah. What about oh, you doing first? Well, based on my other hand, I still th I think the John Smiths might be ahead of the Tetleys. I'm saying right hand John Smiths, left hand Tetleys. I prefer this one. Go. Okay, my eyes? Yeah. Okay, there you go. There you go. Um, mm. I mean, it's so close. It is so close. It is so close. They are nigh on identical. So there you go. Let me know what you think. Uh, are you a fan of uh, either of these two? Uh, are you a fan of traditional beers? Um, you know, I mean, I know things get bought out and we're in the age of multinationals and, and conglomerates and, you know, you get big players like um, Heineken, like Carlsberg, uh, these mega breweries that own most of the smaller breweries. Um, there are some breweries that, that sort of get it right. I mean, I say that because some of the... Uh, conglomerates they sort of drop AVBs and they sort of interfere and then profit it's profit over tax and you know the flavor gets affected I'm thinking of Stella um, but um, there are some that get it right I think Ashai uh, own Fuller's and uh, from what I understand from people who've, who've commented who drink Fuller's um, Ashai have kind of left it alone they bought it because it was popular and because it was good quality uh, and a good product and they've left it alone you know they just supply the money and you get on with you know you're a success which is why we bought you get on with it um, whether the test of time will will tell and whether profits and and you know the bottom line they might start interfering who knows um, so these two acceptable drinkable nothing much to write home about let me know what you think am I on the nail I'm talking out the back of my neck. I'd be really interested to get your opinion. Right then. <laughs> Cheers.